Hi, I'm Katie from the Vice office in Brooklyn. In this episode of Vice International, our friends over at Vice Indonesia investigate a cult that claims to magically end people's problems with debt, a proposition that is attracting followers from all over the world. This is Indonesian Debt Cult. It was about three years ago, I saw a video, and as soon as I saw it, I knew he was the one that was going to take us into this new world and build this new earth. With inequality growing exponentially, people around the world have assumed massive debts over the past decades. But what if someone could magically make all your debts go away? In Indonesia, a mysterious cult with the impressive name Swisendo World Trust International Orbit promises to do just that and has attracted a large following all around the world. The group is led by this man, Sogiharto Notonegoro, who calls himself M1. He presents himself as a godlike figure who can erase the world's debt. To find out the truth behind this bizarre story, Vice Indonesia correspondent Arzia traveled to visit the Swisendo headquarters in Cirebon. We just arrived in Cirebon. The city is smaller in Jakarta. It's home to Swisendo and we're off to see uh, the leader right now. Well, this is a pretty normal working housing complex. But somewhere in here is Swisendo headquarters. So it's sort of weird because everyone's like looking at us, like all eyes on us. We were surprised to find Swisendo based in a cluster of unassuming small buildings on the outskirts in Chirabon. Followers travel here from all around the world. Once they join the organization, they are assigned official Swisendo titles. Kimmery Tedder, designated Prime Minister of Love for the United States, left California because she believes the leader, whom she calls Papa, will not only change the world, but also erase all her issues with debt, which she has battled for years. What happened was the IRS was bullying me. I mean, I felt literally like I was a criminal. All of a sudden, I have a gangster calling me mm -hmm. and telling me, you need to pay this debt. And I'm like, H hold on a second. I literally had no option. So for me, I started reaching out. I had a few friends in the entertainment industry who are patriots who told me, well, uh, we got a lot of education ahead of you, but here's what we found. And they have a remedy. And what I did was I sent my birth certificate in. It cost me three months of education and $400. 45 days later, the account at the IRS was closed and it disappeared. It worked. It actually worked. $10,000 gone. IRS never contacted me again about it. So what's happening now is we have someone coming forward to bring the collateral and the substance and the remedy and no one believes it. They can hardly wrap their mind around it. Why do you deserve to have $150,000 worth of debt erased? You get to have $6 million in a trust account. How does that make you feel? Kim Marie's story was hard to believe, and she didn't supply any proof for her claims, but her faith in the movement seemed unshakable. Swissendo had us seriously confused, so to untangle the contradictions in the group's claims, we went online. The group's complex mythology combines various worldwide conspiracies, extending from pre-colonial Indonesia to the JFK assassination and an encounter with aliens. Here's the simple version. Swisendo believes the ancient kingdoms of Indonesia pooled their wealth to provide the world with a standard living wage. Over centuries, a nefarious global conspiracy has been working to deny the people this inheritance. M1 says he is a descendant of the ancient kings, and as heir to their fortune, he has access to a giant hidden cache of gold and platinum. It is large enough to give every man, woman, and child six million dollars when he finally decides to spread it around. Swissendo's global followers hold weekly online meetings to check on the progress of their revolution and share their dedication to the cause. Much like everyone else here, I went searching for answers. I was feeling very depressed and uh, I was looking for a way out through Honorable Bumpark. I knew he was the one that was going to take us into this place, into this new world and build this new earth. 
Finally, it was our turn to meet M1 face to face, surrounded by a rapt audience of his followers. Yang selama ini kita jalankan di di tatanan dunia yang sekarang ini, menurut bapak ada yang ada yang, yang salah. Ah, apa ya, sih pak? Sekarang gini, kalau kamu utang seribu, kamu harus mengembalikan tiga ribu. Ya, entah tahunnya berapa lah, mau sepuluh tahun, mau lima tahun, kira-kira nih. Yang seribu kamu sudah habis, yang seribu sana sudah habis, kamu sudah ngasih keuntungan dia dua ribu kan? Kamu baru mau nyari nol lagi nih, baru mau satu lagi. Ini kan yang membuat slavery system di mana-mana. Sehingga orang bekerja seperti di Jakarta, contohnya tiap hari rutinitas lembur siang pagi malam ujungnya tetap utang bank. Ya kan? Ujungnya tetap aja ujungnya diburu di kolektor. Sementara mata uang tadi itu adalah kertas. Manusia itu ciptaan dari air mani. Itu kenapa hak asasi manusia sekarang harus ditegakkan kembali? Swissendo claims that it can erase debt by issuing a very official seeming special certificate that shows the group covering the debt out of its bottomless riches. But Indonesia's financial crimes agency, OJK, denies that. Swissendo is currently under investigation for fraud as more and more debtors are presenting the certificates to local banks. Asked about the investigation, M1's aura of benevolence quickly disappeared. Makanya salah besar ketika OJK memfonis dan membicarakan tentang Swissendo bahwa isu Indo ilegal. Kalau kalian tidak mau damai, pernyataan perang sudah saya berikan kepada internasional. Pernyataan perang seperti apa tuh, Pak? Apapun seperti misalnya nuklir untuk apa nuklir dibuat kalau tidak dilakukan The biggest mystery about Swissendo is the status of its supposed wealth Asked to account for it M1 quickly redirected the conversation Bagaimana dan dari mana kah sebenarnya harta yang kita punya itu adanya di mana Sekarang kalau aku kasih tahu apakah kamu kira-kira tidak nodong pistol di kepala saya Itu persoalan kenapa membelit. Tapi ketika ini saya buka dengan cara terang, pelan-pelan saya dimusin juga bahwa itu ilegal. Mari kita bukti-buktian. Pegang pistol satu-satu, sudah. Whether out of paranoia or justified legal concerns, M1 claimed he had too many enemies to leave his compound. So two very enthusiastic senior members of the group took us on a tour of a nearby Javanese palace that they say proves Swissendo's claims to royalty and wealth. Pertama, dikembalikan dulu manusia dibebaskan hutangnya. Jika dibebaskan hutangnya, kembali kepada fitrahnya sebagai manusia yang sempurna, yang punya derajat, makhluk mulia, sebagai khalifah, raja bagi dirinya sendiri. Itu yang dikembalikan dulu oleh Bapak. Uh, we're heading up to King Solomon's grave. Uh, M1 said that he actually has some kind of bloodline connection with King Solomon, and we're gonna go see the grave right now. Our tour guides arranged for us to enter the grave of a sultan, a sacred site that was usually closed to visitors. Any requests for explanations of the connection between M1 and the sultan's bloodline were answered with vague evasions, as they insisted the proof was too obvious to be questioned. Bisa dijelasin nggak bu koneksi uh, lebihnya itu antara Raja oh, Salomo? Ya. Nanti kita lihat khusus filmnya aja, nanti bisa ya, bukan jelaskan. jelaskan. Kita tidak mampu menjelaskan sejarah, tidak uh-huh. salah. Tapi benar ada ada keturunan, ada ada, ada, ada keturunan. Beliau aja kan terusnya, beliau kan memegang kekuasaan ya sekarang. Si Nuhin. Kan beliau yang memegang kekuasaan sekarang. Nanti kita lihat. Oke. The visit to the grave did not offer any proof that would make Swissendo's strange story more believable. What does it all mean? In some ways, Swissendo's appeal is clear. The group offers an attractive story for people looking for meaning, or those desperately in debt searching for a solution. But if you look closer, the grand theories of conspiracy and revolution don't exactly make sense and seem to hide the real picture behind the group's activities. This is a video we received from the manager of a local bank branch. In it, a group of men who claim to be with Swissendo are trying to intimidate the bank into writing off a follower's debt. 
Jadi uh, mereka bertindak layaknya seperti preman. Mereka datang ke tempat kami meminta supaya mereka menampung aspirasi mereka dan melarang petugas kami untuk melakukan penagihan kepada klien mereka. Mereka datang dengan uh, penuh atribut, ya, uh, dengan tampang lebih seram, dengan jaket uh, berbagai organisasi seperti itu. Jadi layaknya sebuah organisasi yang punya otoritas lah seperti itu. Nah ini hampir terjadi kontak fisik. Ada mereka juga menggubrak meja seperti itu. The branch manager had stacks of files documenting his run-ins with Swissendo. Ini adalah surat kuasa, ya. Ini ditujukan kepada salah satu sub branch kami, mm -hmm. uh, unit uh, Gerawangi, uh, bahwa uh, debitur uh, sub branch kami itu menyerahkan hutangnya kepada Swissendo. Dan dana dana yang mereka bilang itu di bank tidak ada tidak ya, Pak? termasuk di bank BRI yang merupakan tidak bank ada. pemerintah. Karena itu, mereka ya? menyatakan di BRI ada berapa triliun, tetapi uh, rekeningnya itu adalah palsu. Palsu. Karena, palsu. Karena rekening kami jumlahnya nggak sekian digitnya. Contoh yang di sini. Ini adalah bukan akun kami. Akun kami 15 digit, sedangkan ini adalah 10 digit. Nah ini adalah uh, menyatakan uh, ke, uh, apa legalitas dari Susindo yang ini semua membuat kami di satu sisi ketawa ya, karena tidak mungkin uh, legalitas itu bentuknya seperti ini dan tidak masuk akal. Oh, sisi lain kami geram gitu, <laughs> karena ini adalah ya uh, apa uh, nggak nggak wajar gitu. The bank manager suggested we speak with someone who went to Swissendo for debt forgiveness and could describe the experience firsthand. Bapak punya pengalaman pribadi apa sih Pak dengan Swissendo? Jadi gini. Waktu itu saya punya utang ke bank. Saya ketemu dengan seorang teman, memberitahukan bahwa adalah namanya Swissindo gitu kan. Pemberkasan waktu itu saya dipinta satu juta. Satu juta itu udah termasuk operasional lah gitu kan. Kata dia, udah bapak tinggal nunggu aja, nggak usah biar kami yang kerja. Saya juga lebih lebih jauh lagi nanya, ini uang siapa? Uang siapa? Saya bilang, kok bisa? bisa dibuang-buang ke, ke orang gitu. Oh ini Pak, hubungannya dengan ya kayak macam katanya harta Soekarno lah ataupun apa saya nggak ngerti di Bank Swiss itu yang di Bank Swiss yang yang memang udah menjadi hak rakyat Indonesia makanya dialokasikan untuk rakyat Indonesia yang bermasalah dengan piutang katanya. Berarti kan saya pikir saya diurusin nama mereka karena emang nggak nggak ada yang dirugikan gitu. Terlepas uang itu dari mana, saya nggak mau tahu. Gitu. Dari hari ke hari, bulan ke bulan, saya tungguin kok. Oh nggak ini, gitu semua. So what is Swissendo? Its critics say the group is a pyramid scheme masking as a cult. Swissendo claims this is a lie, an attempt by its enemies to undermine the group's great works yet again. Whatever the truth, one thing is certain. As long as people are getting screwed by global capitalism, those on the losing side will be looking for a way out. And there will always be charismatic gurus, prophets, and reincarnated royalty telling us they alone have the answer to all our problems, as long as we can suspend our doubts and make one easy payment. So I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm just going to keep marching, you know? I'm just going to keep marching. And at this point, they're going to hear it. They're not going to hear it. It doesn't matter. I'm here. I'm on task. I've worked for the mission, and I'm not leaving until everyone knows about this.